Today we're looking at Hydrosync Noir braided mainline from Gardner, and as the name Noir suggests, the overriding colour is black. So it's a very, very dark in colour, so this is ideal for weedy situations, silty lake beds, but also if that's sunk right to the bottom, as some of the natural attributes of this line have, which I'll get onto in a second, it will just look like some kind of stick or any kind of uh, foliage on the bottom of a lake bed anyway. So it's pretty universal as to where you can use this. Now one of the biggest benefits of using a braided mainline, if a fishery allows it, is that you get much more feel. There's no stretch, so you know exactly what's going on. If you're just leading about as well, you know what the lake bottom feels like. You can give fish a lot of stick and know that exactly the input you put into the rod, you put given into the fish. There's no lost pressure over a stretched mono or fluoro or something like that. That's one of the big benefits of using a braided mainline. Also casting capabilities, typically you can get away with a lower diameter braid because the breaking strain is higher. Now one of the interesting things about the breaking strain of this is that Gardner have rated the strength of this line at knot strength. So it's not what you'd normally expect. Sometimes you see a braided mainline that's thin diameter and it's got a really high breaking strain. A bit different in that this gives you a real world representation of what the breaking strain is, which is the knot strength. And of course, that's the most important uh, element you need to know because that's where you're gonna have the weakest point in your line. So this is rated the 25 pound at knot strength. So it may not sound like the strongest braid out there, but I'm sure if you test a lot of other braids which are rated higher, but rated them with knot strength, you'd find that they're actually a bit weaker than what they state. So that's one thing to be aware of when you read the uh, stats on this. It's also a 0.35, which again, doesn't sound like a very thin diameter for a braid at that breaking strain. But again, Gardner have deliberately done this because uh, as they say on their website and on the description, they're honest with their figures. It's not a crushed diameter. Now what you find with a lot of braided main lines is that the tests of them will crush them down to the thinnest they'll be in a crushed state. So that's why you get a very, very thin diameter for still quite a high breaking strain. So this is an uncrushed diameter of 0.35. So it doesn't sound like the strongest and doesn't sound like the thinnest, but they're accurate representations of what this braid offers. But some of the other attributes which are perfect for braid, like I said, is the zero stretch, but also how supple it is. So some monos can have quite a bit of uh, memory in them and flurries especially as well. But this has a very supple state when it comes off the uh, spool like so. So as that starts to sink, it should hug the lake bed perfectly. And talking of sinking, it also has fluorocarbon fibers built into this and a natural characteristic of fluorocarbon is that it sinks extremely well as well. So you've got the, the benefits of having a non-stretch braid, the benefits of a fluorocarbon that it sinks and it's still as supple as maybe a thin mono. So you've got a lot of different attributes to this braid which make it quite a standout product to be used as your braided mainline. The line comes available in both a 300 and a 600 meter spool. And before I carry on, it's worth noting that both these spools I've got with me today are a giveaway. So all you've got to do to get involved in winning these two spools is to check the link in the description below which gives you more information on how to get involved and head over to Facebook as well for more information. Now the Dyneema and fluorocarbon fibres that are within this are UV resistant so it shouldn't degrade over time. Your spools sit there for a long time especially in the summer in daylight getting beamed on constantly dried out and in the sun so a lot of braids can start to deteriorate over time but this shouldn't be the case with this because they are UV resistant so it should come off the spool black like it is and stay black for a very long time. And lastly, another massive benefit of using braided mainline over mono or fluoro, for example, is its abrasion resistance. The natural properties of braid is that it's a bit more rope-like, and uh, that in, in tail means that it's much stronger when it comes to rubbing over, say, rocks, mussels, clay bar, uh, gravel bars, and things like that come through snags. So if you need something that gives you no stretch and is nice and abrasion resistant, then that's where you'd probably go down the braided mainline route. That's pretty much the uh, Noir Hydrosync mainline in a nutshell from Gardner. So again, as I mentioned, you can win this. So to get involved, check the link in the description below, head over to there and hopefully one of you will win both of these spools will be sent out to you. But that's it for me for now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit like if you did and subscribe to us if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. Also follow us on all the social media platforms coming up on the bottom of your screen right now. But that's it for me for now. I'll see you again soon.